Hey guys, Driver Cycling FPV, and I have an RMA here I'm about to put on the bench. Uh, this is a Flywoo quad, and the customer says that his, no matter what he does, apparently it's brand new, and no matter what he does, he cannot get, ooh, my God, let me zoom out, please. Holy moly, we're a little too close there. Hey, 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 forget about it. There you go, boom. Should be good now, I think. Thanks to my messy desk. All right, anyways, I think he's basically, it's his VTX will not work. No VTX issue. I mean, he's got a VTX issue. Uh, I'm not really sure why there's two props on here and two props off, but let me just take these off real quick and let's see what we got, okay? Uh, let me pull up this RMA information while I'm over here as well. So we have RMA 11348. Hey, Tartar Arthur, and I'll hopefully get you here an update shortly. Um, Lord. These, man, I tell you what, these Flywoo and HGLRCs, man, they're all starting to look the same. They all got the same shape. They all went with Dave C's frame, and it's like, what happened? Did everybody just forget how to design their own stuff? This is crazy. No, no offense to either, but come on, man. I mean... This is like, hey, let's copy and copy and copy and copy and, oh, we'll tweak this. Whatever. Anyways, all right, let, me, let me put these screws in a baggie or something so I don't get them mixed up. There's a fourth one, and it's somewhere, so I will find it and include it when I find it. Right now, right now, right? Okay, so this is what it says. Uh, I purchased a new camera and changed the, no video, specs, video, attached, can I get video on the goggles? Okay, what do you got? You're running, okay, and then it says something, okay, let me take these screws off, uh, still the video. Uh, person new camera and change that but does not think it's the VTX because I'm getting five tones at arm face. Huh? I'm not, I'm not even sure what that has to do with anything, so I guess we'll see. Alright, well, let's let's just get all these screws good uh, a gajillion screws out here. Let's get all these out. Okay, now, hey, 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 hey. Okay, well, let's start with the basics, okay? Yeah, we're not gonna be playing this game, we're gonna shut up. So we're gonna we're gonna go into beta flight here and turn this crap off quickly. Um, okay, I can't function with this beeping. So let me turn this beeping off first because it's gonna drive me nuts. And then we'll get straight into what's going on because I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me connect first. I can't I can't handle this beeping. This thing needs to shut the hell up. Configuration, and then I'm going to go to. Matter of fact, here let me just. It's interrupting my signal, so we know the VTX is working. And we're gonna turn. Okay, now. We're gonna run into a small issue because the VTX appears to be interfering with my uh, with my feed here. So let me just see what's going on, okay? Let's just see what we got here. Okay, first of all, 
let's go to 25 and let's go to band E and let's change this to channel 5 and click save. Okay. All right, now I don't think we'll have any interference. Okay. So I'm scanning the channels right now on my monitor. See if we can get a, a transmitter. E. I'm gonna go ahead and turn pit mode on. Okay, well, with that said, we're not going to try to invent the wheel here. We're going to go ahead and dissect the drone, see what we're working with. Okay, and we can disconnect this, and let's just get to work. Stop wasting time. All right. So, first thing we want to do is trace out our wires. So let's go ahead and kind of get in here and get under these wires here and see oh no we're not doing that today I had enough of the shit hold on where the hell is that button right there mm -hmm. cut that shit out okay Let me find No, I just threw a VTX out actually. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It would make for a perfect. This would be a good test just for this. This VTX would be perfect to use as a test VTX, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will desolder the 
cables. Right, my soldering iron is heating up, so give it a second. Pull the old wiring off here. Okay. And let's desolder this wire. There we go. Just for giggles, we're just going to lay this down like this. I'm not really looking to do anything magnificent here. Just want to get this stuff wired up. We will follow the same wiring as before. So let's go here, our battery. Here, our ground. I'm gonna turn it this way. Give me a little better access to the pads. Sit still in here. There we go. Okay. Then we will do our video. We'll be out here. And our RX will be right here. Okay, now there's a good chance that when I turn this on, guys, it is going to interfere with our feed. So bear with me. Let me see if I can try uh, to, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to try it. Hope for the best. Okay. And we have video. Amazingly enough, the customer, so they can see it, uh, let me get the video because it was set. So let me go and connect. Let me do a search here so the customer can see. I just saw it come up. There you go. So we have video. Now keep in mind I have no I have no antenna on this, and this is one of the reasons we're throwing it out is the signal, the quality of the signal was not that great. But uh, for this VTX, that's why we're tossing it. But let's just uh, I believe the same VTX table is gonna work. So let me get this. And as you can see though, we have video um, and so that is definitely not, this is definitely a VTX issue. Uh, and I know that you said that JB said it wasn't, or I mean, or whoever, I mean, it doesn't matter. But point being is, is um, we are in beta flight now, and I will boost this to 50 and click save. And uh, it is still using the same Tramp um, VTX table, and you can see we have video working perfectly here. Okay, so that is the problem. It is your VTX, and what we can do is we can set to replace your VTX. Obviously not with this one, but with a brand new one. That's it, guys. Look, the easiest, thing, easiest way to troubleshoot stuff, okay? I don't care what anybody says it might not be. fact of the matter is, is if you think it is, just go straight for it, and that's what it is. So we're going to replace the VTX here. I will get with the customer and let him know, but that is a simple VTX repair, and we'll be out the door, okay? You can contact Flywood and ask him what to do with this one. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Always going to be up at targetcyclonfpp.com. Go to our support page. Um, and uh, as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Always appreciate your support. And that's it, guys. God bless. Be safe and uh, spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. We will talk to you later. Peace.